soda. There's an arrow on the downwards. We can't! Mm -hmm. Not working, not working, not working. No partitas, no playing. It's a nice place here, it's so silent. Braaf geweest. Goed geslapen. Ja. Waarom zijn jullie aan het filmen? Je moet een beetje zo brengen, hè? Ik heb dat dan niet op YouTube zetten, hè? Nee. Tuurlijk niet. So Saturday today. Today, 17 years married. But we have work to do. Channel reviews, video lab scores, so we have to make every week two or three channel reviews for our colleagues. We were last week. Yes, it was very exciting. And the weather outside is very bad, so perfect. I don't know the history of this castle, but it must have been end 19th century, begin, beginning of 20th century. Totally updated, very nice. So. Maybe we learn something about it, but there's not so much history written. Filming. Saturday afternoon. I have to answer your comments, your kind comments, because otherwise it would be too much when returning home, so... And it's really nice, that's one of the nice things to do, in fact. So, Mike, Midcaffrey, Hayden fan, Hayden will come back. So we are re returning now from a very little walk. It's Sunday now and it is so beautiful here. I'll show you, I think we come here in the view where you can see the castle where we are. And I was right, of course, it's early 19th century built and completely renovated. 
early 20th century, very beautiful. It's kind of hotel after World War II. And it's in fact a perfect spot for a clavichord player. It's nice wooden floor, floors, nice ceilings. It has silence overall. There is nothing here. I will turn around and you can see there's a part of the castle at the back. But we will see the other part, the main part, as we return. The strange thing is here in Belgium, you drive one hour from where we live. We live in the north. So the part where they speak Dutch. And one hour later, and you are here in Wallonie, in the southern part where they speak French. And here you have mountains, very rough nature, trees, forests. And the stupid thing is, politically, we are divided countries in a way that it's not the people, but uh, here you see the other part of the castle from very far. We speak two languages, and you know, Belgium, we got our independence, so to say, in 1830, and before that, before 1795, we were part of Austria. Then came the French Revolution. We were part of uh, of uh, France. Napoleon was defeated in 1815, and then was a problem in the way that the United Kingdom and France wanted to have a buffer state between Germany, France, and and the United Kingdom. And so Belgium was added in 1815 in the Vienna Congress to but now is the Netherlands. Didn't call like that, was the Verenigde so much province, provinces under King Willem I. And in 1813, 30, that went wrong and after a few years of struggle, we became, so to say, independent. But the thing is that even during those negotiations in London, Tailleron, which was a very famous politician, he wrote in the diary, I'm in support now of the uh, creation of Belgium, but I know this country can la last for a long time because you have two different groups. So there's of course, yeah, a political division now. We have one federal government ruling over all Belgium, but more and more power has, be has been dedicated to, uh, yeah, to the regions, Flanders, Wallonie. But I don't hope it ever comes to a real, real, separation because who wants to miss this part of a country I mean it's unique in fact and we have two languages and that's a problem and the problem also is different than in Switzerland Switzerland most people speak each other's language but that's not the case here in Belgium it used to be a little bit there's a whole history about that but today people of the north we tend to speak more English than French we have French education at school but to give you an example, Sophie, our oldest daughter, she had examination, French, but she was ill the week before, so she hadn't got time to catch up. And so one of the questions was translate the word one day, één dag. And so she wrote one, un, which is one in French. And instead of writing jour, which is the synonym for day, she wrote one, a uh, day. So she wrote the English word of in the French language. That's how it is. And also from the south and the north, few people here speak Dutch. More people of the north speak French, and and I can understand because Dutch is a very small language. So I mean, a population. But that's how life is, and it's in every country something with politics. I think. We're going to work a little bit. Work quote unquote work. Organize things. Yesterday she slept whole afternoon. No, one and a half hour. Five hours? No, that's not true. You should do that better. Yeah, I should learn to sleep. Anyway, here, look at that. Wouldn't that be a perfect spot for authentic sound? To have recording studios here? Then we have had breakfast. Yeah. 
Well, I must say I would demolish every new part because I don't like it, but I like the old parts. Yes. So Sunday evening, last night here in Dinan, southern Belgium, on a holiday weekend, dinner, and look at my company of tonight. Most beautiful woman on the planet. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Hmm? Most beautiful woman on earth. <laughs> so, food is perfect here. In fact, as Belgium is known for its food, it's even very good here. Yes. So we are ready to move again. Weekend is over. Anya just is closing the the car, and we are heading back to the north of Belgium, northeast of Belgium, no, north of Belgium. It's north of Belgium where we live, isn't it? North northeast, something like that. It was very nice. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of our tour here in we did. the weekend. We did, yes. So, back to the partitas, sixth one will be for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, eventually, do some backup recordings. <laughs> See you then. Thanks for watching and subscribing, of course, as always. Bye. Bye.